Hello! So this is going to be my review for Box Cutter for Blender 2.8. It's a pretty great add-on. So I'm going to go through some pros and cons, and do I recommend it or not, and some other stuff closer to the end. I think it'll be pretty quick, so I won't waste too much of your time. So I'm just going to jump into the pros and cons here. So let's start with the pros. It's a very powerful tool that you can get pretty great results with. It's really great if you're into hard surface, and also it flows really nicely. It's, I can tell that there's a lot of thought being put into like the usability of it and everything. So over on the cons side, um, one of the biggest things that I was frustrated with was the documentation. Bruh. I know Master Zeon, the guy who develops it, um, does a video for, I think, every release of every update. But they sort of build on each other. And what was frustrating to me was that um, he sort of assumed that you knew the latest versions, or like the really old versions. And I just got it, so I jumped in with both legs and <laughs> was very confused for a bit and frustrated. My second con is that it was kind of unstable because it's being actively developed and it's a new version, like a super experimental version of Blender that I have to use it in. So those are two cons. The last one is that there's a pretty steep learning curve to it. And yeah, so there's one more um, thing in between pros and cons, which is that it's being actively developed, which is great because you get new features. And like I mentioned before, it crashes a lot. So save often is basically <laughs> what I've started doing with it. Do I recommend it? I would say yes if you're into hard surface modeling. It's a good investment I would say because it really speeds up your workflow and has a lot of nice features that take ages to do if you're just using the normal version of Blender. So talking about the learning curve once more, I actually am planning to do some tutorials in the future which should be kind of oriented towards people who just got the, got the add-on and are beginners with it. Because I was there and I was really frustrated and I'd like to help out people who are in that situation as well. I think I've mostly got the hang of it by now, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's a really great tool. Also, I didn't talk about hard ops at all in this, but... I haven't explored that too much. I actually got the pack with box cutter and hard ops. So I'm going to be digging into hard ops in a little bit, and I'll be making a review on that as well once I sort of get the hang of it. So yeah, if you want to see those videos coming up soon, subscribe, and that would be great. I'll see you later. Cheers.